Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Purpose of this video is to help anyone who is experiencing the same issue that I'm experiencing with the DDJ Rev 1. Uh, there's been a lot of mixed reviews with this particular controller. Some people feel it's too small or it doesn't have enough options. In my opinion, if you're a working DJ, it's a great grab and go option. If you don't want to take up too much space in your work area and you want to save your shoulder and your back, this is a lot of power packed in a little box and you can still rock the crowd. I'm actually going to demonstrate in this video what happens when I move the fader in a positive direction to show you what the issue is. So as you can see here, I start at 105. From there, the pitch goes up. It's going up. It's going up. 115, 116, 117, 18, 19, 20. From here, the pitch goes back and it starts over again. So in actuality, I'm only getting 75% range on that pitch fader. This is a hardware issue. I don't know if these controllers are prone to this issue, but um, there is a, a, a slight glitch on the right side pitch fader. These things happen. Um, it could just be a factory issue. Uh, Pioneer did say that they would um, replace it for me because it is under warranty. But the purpose of this video was just to save you guys some time reaching out to um, support. Just go ahead and get yourself another controller, swap it out, whatever you got to do. But don't waste time because this is a hardware issue. It's not a software issue. It's just one of those things that happen. Thanks again for watching this video. Um, if it helped, please subscribe and uh, check you guys on the back end. Take care. Take care.